Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Frothy Coffee Drinking, brought to you by the, the finest Colombian beans that make up the best coffee drink. Oh, actually, I mean, that's, that's another vlog cast, exactly. Uh, no, actually, welcome to today's showing of Capitao America, featuring a few more comics from the Brazilian Capitao America run. Uh, lovely and early this morning, but I do have my coffee, of course. Look at that. I can't pour it too much. It's just going to... Are you getting that? Isn't that lovely? So, today we're featuring uh, issues 111 to 120. Uh, we still haven't even reached the halfway mark yet. But, uh, fantastic run. Hope everybody's keeping well and, and have had a great week. What I'm going to try and do today is not speak so fast. So, uh... The accent might uh, trip you all up when I do tend to get a little bit motivated, so I'm going to make a concerted effort to not speak so fast for you lovely people. Kicking off today with issue 111. Look at that. Beautiful. And not forget these are little digest sized comics. I mean like a sp that's, a, that's obviously that's a span that's approximately nine inches so these are around about eight inches by six I should think roughly just under yeah just under probably around about five and a bit to be fair so not your standard size beautiful little digest copies Go on, Cap, splunge it into the android's head. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, issue 112, and we've got a lovely Avengers cover. Not an Avengers cover, but an Avengers panel made up to be a cover. I'm not sure whether you can pick it up, but I think that the rain's hitting the roof quite hard. <sighs> Another day of rainy weather. I think Vision's looking a bit pale there. Oh, I'm loving that. Another sip of my coffee. Beautiful. Now this is one of my favourite covers ever, ever, every, ever. This is issue 113 and it is that cover. Amazing. That surely has to be one of the best covers ever drawn, anywhere. Issue 114. That's amazing. Look at that. Cap's been relegated to just a, a small panel at the bottom there. I mean, the problem with scarcity is obviously it's getting harder to, to find these things. But um, it appears um, that the actual value uh, coupled with the scarcity is really pushing the price of foreign comics up. So, you know, you want to, if you've got an interest in foreign comics, now is probably the time to start getting into that hobby, really, you know, in in a big way because I think probably around another two or three years from now there's going to be I won't even say key issues there's going to be a lot of issues um, you just can't won't be able to well you know obviously I don't know everybody's financial bits and bobs nor do I want to know but it's going to be harder to 
to buy something that was probably, you know, $20, $20 uh, five years ago. You know, it's probably approaching sort of like $100 now. So, you know, these things are keep on going up. And like I said, they don't have to be keys. It seems to be across the board. So, you know, if you want to start collecting... Uh, I mean, I'm... St I am what I am. I uh, I am so deep set into this this genre of this niche of comic collecting. Uh, you know, it's like the US comics are down there for me. That doesn't mean a negative, by the way. That's just they're down there for me, and everything else worldwide is more up there for me. So I should imagine that with um, you know quite a few viewers on this channel, it's the other way around. Whereas foreign comics are just a um, an interesting. And sideline, and they are interesting. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it won't affect foreign this particular niche of people who are watching this channel. It might not affect them so much. But if you start to get like really bitten, like I was, uh, we call it the sickness in the foreign comic collecting community. Um, it might start to bite your wallet a little bit harder than it has done before. So uh, yeah. Yeah, that came out in um, notably in a particular eBay listing this week, whereas something that was, I'm not going to say what it is, you know, but it was, you could buy it for around about 100 bucks, which is quite expensive, sort of five years ago, but now this one's like 500 bucks. So. Oh, by the way, newcomers to the channel, you'll see that I go off on tangents all the time. I try and stick to the same narrative, but you'll, you'll hear me winging off in all sorts of different directions. So. Issue 115. Look at that. That is one crazy guy. sip of my coffee as if I need to announce it you know you can clearly see what I'm doing I am having a sip of my coffee issue number oh, that's a great cover issue 116 look at that bursting through the flag Flag Smasher. Why wouldn't he be doing that? And Cap just manages to get out of the way. Try to remove the glare. Yeah, I love that cover. Moving on to uh, issue 117. I've seen this cover um, over several European publications. Um, yeah, Junior Interpress in, in Holland for one, and uh, Editorial Corno in Italy for another. But uh, like I said, this is the Brazilian version of that cover. It, it's weird how some certain covers make the rounds in Europe. You see him reprinted time and time again. Notably, it's Greece that does the um, vast majority of, of covers that are spottily published elsewhere in Europe. striking cover and one no doubt that's been taken from an internal panel again issue 118 I just think Modoc's fallen out of his chair there
Isn't that just some just just uh, or sometimes these covers take my breath away. I'm just uh, looking at them in, in absolute awe. You know, hopefully you're doing the same. That is just beautiful. Well, issue 119, as I always like to say, the penultimate issue of today's showing. Uh, yep, I do believe... I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It does happen. I was going to say, and I'm saying it now, this could be a drunken Tony Stark. But its I don't think it is now, actually. I just think it's one of um, Cap's mates. One of his buds, which he's rescued out of a burning building. Unless that's War Machine, of course. But no. I'm wrong. That's just one of Cap's mates. It ain't Tony Stark. Your damn glare. I don't know what does he say there? Well, you know, it might be Tony Stark, believe it or not. It does say Tony Stark. I can't read it. It's in this light, and the red sort of like faded in there. I can't quite read what that says. It's definitely, obviously, Tony Stark up there. So that gentleman there could be Tony Stark. Excellent, eh? Guess what I'm going to do now? Oh, and it's also my first coffee of the day. I'm sure you'll agree with me, the first coffee of the day is the best. Everything else is just very nice after that, but the first coffee, ah, the best. And the last issue of today is number 120. Looks like Guerra Secretas, uh, Secret Wars, I should imagine. Fantastic. And there you have it, boys and girls, lovely folks, lovely gentlemen and gentlewomen, fans of this channel and the comic community, and Captain America fans in general. Thank you for watching. Um, I decided to do this video quite early because I've got a fair bit to do today. Um, I need to send off three big packages uh, as I'm getting rid of some of my epic collection titles, which uh, aren't directly in my focus so I'm you know getting rid of a bit making a little bit of money and uh, yeah freeing up my man cave a little bit not too much just a little bit so uh, on that note I better get trucking finish off the rest of my coffee probably it'd be a good idea to have some breakfast I should think thanks for tuning in um, dare I say it if you like this video click the like button if you really like the way this is presented in a uh, mishmashy sort of splidgy splodgy British way then uh, click the subscribe button and don't forget to tick that little bell so you get all notifications for when I'm bringing out new videos which is generally at least once a week but sometimes I push the boat out and get another couple out of other areas of comic collecting so thank you everybody really happy that you're here watching this today be safe out there and have a great week okay I'll see you on the flip side bye for now